Madam Chair, Mayor Reed, Reverend Kurd, Admiral Mifflin, Mr. Peach, Mr. Wells, Mr. Newhook, members of the Town Council and citizens of Carbonair, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody else here tonight has been a politician. You'll have to bear with me. I'm not very good at this. He's the politician of the family. <laughs> As you've been able to see, my grandfather has been very moved by the events of this evening and the truly kind words expressed by everyone here tonight and to those that sent the messages as well. On his behalf, I thank you. Forty years ago tonight, in just a few hours from now, was also a very emotional and exciting evening. Not just for grandfather, but for all living Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. What was to lie ahead for all of us was most probably beyond the belief and imagination of most of us alive then. More than anything else in our history, Confederation with Canada has changed our whole social and economic being. His belief in that, commitment to it, to help make it happen, earned from you the term Father of Confederation. Grandfather, however, has always felt he was not the Father of Confederation and never used the term because there were so many more people involved as well. People who worked actively in the Confederate Association, but also the 51% who agreed with and had faith in his vision for Newfoundland. Some of you here tonight are probably among those, and I wish to point out also Mr. Greg Power, a longtime friend and colleague of Mr. Smallwood, and Mr. Pat Canning, who sat in the house with him longer than any other member. Grandfather has been known to say in the past, the battle for Confederation, because battle it was. Carboneer became refuge for his family during some of the campaign. His wife, as you know, is a native of Carboneer, and she brought her family home to be away from the activities in St. John's for a short period of time. My grandmother has asked that her sincere regrets be passed along to you all this evening, and she extends her warmest greetings to Carboneer. Earlier this winter, she fell in her home and dislocated her shoulder. She comes to Carboneer actually quite regularly now, but it's for therapy at the hospital, and unfortunately wasn't feeling up to being here this evening. She was deeply touched that her hometown should be the community that hosts this historic banquet to honor the event 40 years ago that has made such an impact on our daily lives. As the mayor related, it was in Carboneer that Mr. Power and Grandfather and other friends spent the night when the referendum votes were counted. Confederation won. I remember a story about that time told by another Carboneer lady, his sister-in-law, Beulah Millie. She recalled one particularly vocal evening by those waiting outside their home in St. John's when he was being jeered as being a traitor to Newfoundland and to Britain. It was, I'm sure, an uncomfortable meal for the family. However, her story relates that grandfather was not at all bothered by the crowd outside the house and the noise they were making and their remarks, but he simply muttered more to himself than to anyone else at the table, wait and see. Forty years later, and for what many years past, we have seen, excuse me, your remarks tonight have been very emotional. He was recently asked to comment on whether Newfoundland's commitment to Confederation is as strong today as it was in 49. His reply was simply yes and stronger. Your presence here tonight attests to that, and your warm greetings. On his behalf, I can say only thank you, and wish it were he instead able to say it for me. Thank you.
for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. I would now like to call back Mayor Art Reed for a presentation and a vote of thanks. I would like, uh, with your indulgence for a moment, there are some people who Dale uh, alluded to a couple there a few minutes ago. We do have a number of people with us tonight who came out from parts of Newfoundland to be with us to celebrate with Mr. Smallwood tonight. And I'd like to recognize Greg Power. Would you stand, Greg, would you recognize, please? Greg was with Mr. Smallwood during the election campaign. We also have the infamous Steve Neary in our audience. Steve, where are you? Mac Mercer, who was also with Mr. Smallwood at that time. Mac, stand up. Where are you? Down the back. Thank you, Mac. A do for Joey, of course, would not be uh, would not be complete with without maybe, if not his best, one of the very closest people to his heart, Eric Dahl. Eric, are you here? Dale mentioned Pat Canning. He's another gentleman. Pat, are you in the audience as well? There's Pat. We also have with us uh, a special guest, a very close friend of mine who came all the way from Lassie. I'm hoping he's here. Harold Small should be with us. Harold, where are you? Harold is the president of the Seawards Association. Not here? Gone to the hospital. Yeah. What happened to him? Anything? Serious? I hope not. Okay. Okay. I would like to uh, to thank Reverend Curd for a beautiful blessing. We refer to her in Carbonair uh, as Reverend Jill now. I think we've. Uh, decided to adopt her. It's a lovely lady, someone who moved into our town just recently and has made all kinds of wonderful things happen to the Anglican Church here. And thank you very much, Reverend Jim. <laughs> 